Hey guys, this is Suraj. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Unity project with Microsoft's Mixed Reality Toolkit for HoloLens 2. We'll begin with creating a new project. Launch the Unity Hub. Select the Projects tab and select the down arrow next to New. Next, select the Unity version as shown here. And create a new project. Ensure Templates is set to 3D. Enter a suitable project name, for example, MRTK Tutorials, and click on Create. Wait for Unity to make the project. Once the project has been created, let us first switch the build platform. In build settings, select Universal Windows Platform and set the settings as shown here. If you haven't installed Universal Windows Platform, you can install it in the Unity Hub and return to this step. Next, click on Switch Platform. Close Build Settings. Now we'll proceed to install MRTK. MRTK Unity provides a set of components and features used to accelerate cross-platform app development in Unity. You can download MRTK from Microsoft Download Center. Upon downloading, extract it and move the folder to a convenient location. Open the executable file from the downloaded folder to launch the Mixed Reality Feature tool. Click on Start. Browse the path of your project. Click on Discover Features. Under Mixed Reality Toolkit, ensure Mixed Reality Toolkit Foundation is checked. And under Platform Support, ensure Mixed Reality Open XR plugin is checked. Select Give Features. Click on Validate, and if no validation issues are detected, click on Import. Select Approve to add the Mixed Reality Toolkit to your project. Next, we need to configure the Unity project. Click on Unity Open XR Plugin to enable XR Plugin Management. Select Show XR Plugin Management Settings in MRTK Project Configurator. Under XR Plugin Management, ensure that the Windows Logo tab is active. 
and then ensure initialize XR on startup. OpenXR and Microsoft HoloLens Feature Group are all enabled. Click Next. Under XR Plugin Management, select OpenXR and Verify Depth Submission Mode is set to Depth 16-bit and Interaction Profiles is set to Microsoft Hand Interaction Profile. Click on Apply and apply again. After Unity has restarted, open MRTK Project Configurator and then select Next. Import TMP Essentials and click on Done to complete the configuration. Next, we need to configure project settings for OpenXR. Select Player. Publishing Settings. And in the Package Name field, enter a suitable name. Now, we can create a new scene. In the Unity menu, select File, New Scene. Select Basic. Click on Create. Select Mixed Reality Toolkit. Add to Scene and Configure to add the MRTK to your current scene. With the Mixed Reality Toolkit object still selected in the Hierarchy window, in the Inspector window, verify that the Mixed Reality Toolkit Configuration Profile is set to default Mixed Reality Toolkit Configuration Profile. Save the scene with a suitable name. Next, let us add a cube object that we would like to manipulate with our hands in the HoloLens. Select Game Object. 3D Object. Q. To add a cube object to the scene. Select the cube object and configure its transform component as shown here. This ensures the cube will be placed 50 centimeters from the headset position. Let us split the view so that we can see the game view and scene view at the same time. Unity's unit is 1 meter, so we need to scale the size down as well, otherwise, it'll be too big. To interact with this object, we need to add Object Manipulator script and Near Interaction Grabbable script to the queue. Unity's cube already has a box collider by default. With the cube still selected, click on Add Component button. Search and select Object Manipulator Script. Repeat the same to add the Near Interaction Grabable script to the queue. Click on Play to test if we can move the queue. In the bottom left screen you can see the keys I'm using to simulate my hands in Unity. Next, we'll see how to add custom objects in the scene. Here, I'll add some kitchen items from the Unity Asset Store. You can add other items from the Unity Asset Store if you'd like. Let us place a bowl in the scene. We can use the cube's location as a reference to place other items in the scene. We need to resize it as well. Now, let's place another item like an apple in the scene. Repeat the same steps as above. For our new items, 
we need to first add a box collider so that it detects when our hands touch the object. Once that is added, we can repeat the same steps as for Q to add the Object Manipulator script and the Near Interaction Gravable script. Let us test in play mode again. But we have a problem. If we look away, we have no way of knowing where the objects are placed. To remedy this, we can place a directional indicator solver on the object to locate it. Let us first download some tutorial assets. Import the tutorial package. Find the Chevron prefab in the imported package and drag it into the hierarchy window. Set its position above the apple. Rename it as Apple Indicator. Select the Apple Indicator and click on Add Component. Search and add the Directional Indicator Solver. Configure the Directional Handler and Solver Handler components as shown here. Let us test again in play mode. It seems to work well. Let us proceed to build a project. Go to Build Settings. Make sure the settings are as shown here. Add Open Scenes. Click on Build. Create a new folder and select it. Once it is built, open the folder and open the solution file with Visual Studio 2019. In Visual Studio, select Release and Architecture as ARM 64. Select Remote Machine. Enter your HoloLens IP address in Project Properties as shown here. What's my IP? You can find your HoloLens IP address by asking what's my IP address. Close. Stop recording. Click on Start without debugging. The first time you build a project, you need to pair your HoloLens with Visual Studio. You can do so from the developer mode options in HoloLens, as shown here. Enter this PN in your Visual Studio prompt. That is it. We can now see the project that we built in the HoloLens. You can interact with the objects, move them, rotate them, scale up.
and if you look away, the directional indicator solver helps you to find your bearings. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.